3.3 number 21, we are going to find an equation of the tangent line to y is equal to secant x at pi over 3, 2. Whenever we are trying to write an equation of a line, we need two things. First is the slope, second is the point. Let's focus on the slope first. So here, we are trying to get the slope of the tangent line. Slope of the tangent line is exactly the derivative, alright? So that's y prime. We know y, the original function, is secant x. So that means the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x. And keep in mind, slope is always going to be a number at the particular x value. In this point here, we know that x value is pi over 3. So we know this is happening at x equals to pi over 3. Then to get the slope of the tangent line at pi over 3, I just need to plug in pi over 3 into here. So I'm looking at this as secant pi over 3 times tangent pi over 3, like that. And let's work this out. How do we know what's the value of secant pi over 3? Well, let's go ahead and draw a triangle. Pi over 3 is going to be 60 degree, so my triangle is going to be the 30, 60, 90 special triangle. Let me label this. This is 60 degree, which is the same as pi over 3. And the ratio of the sides are going to be square root 3 here, 1 right here, and 2 right here. By looking at this right triangle, we can figure out secant of pi over 3. Well, secant means it's the hypotenuse over adjacent. So that's 2 over 1. Let me write this down. 2 over 1, like that. And we are going to multiply by tangent of pi over 3. Tangent means opposite over adjacent, and that's square root of 3 over 1. So we have this. Square root of 3 over 1, and then right here is the 2 over 1, right? So altogether, when you multiply, the denominator is just 1. In another word, we know y prime is equal to this. That means the m, which is a slope, is 2 square root of 3 over 1, which I don't need to write it down. So this is the m, which is the same as 2 square root of 3, just like that. And that's the calculus part, all right? And secondly, I'm going to pick a point. The point is the ones that we already use, we already have. It's pi over 3, comma 2. Okay? And let me label this is going to be the x1 value, and this is going to be the y1 value. Then I'm going to use the point slope form for the equation of the line. y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. Okay? So I'll just say we're going to use the point slope form. I'm going to plug in all the numbers that we know, the m here and x1, y1 here into the formula here. I'm going to end up with y minus y1 is equal to 2. That's equal to m is 2 square root of 3. So let me write this down. 2 square root of 3. Parentheses, x is just the x minus x1 is pi over 3. Like this. I'm going to distribute the number in front of the parentheses and then try to isolate the y afterward. So here I have y minus 2 equals to 2 square root of 3 times x, it's just going to be 2 square root of 3 and x right here. The x is outside of the square root, so it looks like this 2 square root and then x like that. Minus 2 square root of 3 times pi over 3, so it's going to be written as. 2 square root 3 on the top like this, and also the pi over 3, okay? And then finally, what do I need to do is, right here, y minus 2 right here, right? I just need to add 2 on both sides to cancel this out. So I'll just put a plus 2 all the way at the end. So overall, I know y will be 2 square root of 3 times x minus, and in the back of the book, they write it in this way. It doesn't really matter, but like they write it as 2 over 3 first, and then square root of 3, and then the pi, okay? Which means the same. And then at the end, you still have the plus 2, and this is the answer.